Shooting happened in just a matter of seconds, but we're not just talking about seconds anymore. We're talking about milliseconds, and experts tell me those moments could be crucial in deciding the case. Now we have to keep in mind that the video is just one piece of evidence. A piece of evidence in the Ray Tenzing trial that's being dissected. I sat down with public defender Rodney Harris. He's an expert in the court who's going by frame by frame, um, exactly what the movement of the officer was, exactly what the movement of Mr. DuBose was, and exactly um, the positioning and so forth of the car. The vehicle's not moved and we are 1.548 seconds. The background's still the same, the vehicle's not moved forward at 1.48 seconds. When you look at the video frame by frame, of course it slows things down and you're able to put everything into perspective. Harris says the big question here, is the car moving? They're arguing that the car was the weapon. So if that car is stationary and the shot was fired, I think it, you lose the gist of that argument um, because that car wasn't a weapon if it's sitting still there. It was .881 milliseconds that the car was in motion, correct? Correct. But Ray Tenzing, in his interview with police two days after the incident, maintains he was being dragged, the direct opposite of the testimony of a witness who says the car only moved after Sam DuBose was shot. Her testimony in my eyes was bolstered by hearing from that expert. That's exactly what she said throughout her testimony and even throughout a very strong cross-examination by Mr. Matthews. The trial, though, is far from over. The biggest thing that I think has to happen for the Matthews team is Mr. Tenzing has to do really well when he takes the stand. I think he has to take the stand, and I think he'll win or lose the case himself on his testimony and how he comes across to that jury. Now, Harris says also the key to winning the trial is uh, establishing credibility and consistency between the evidence and the testimony. Reporting live, Roseanne Aragon, 9, on your side.